Welcome! In this video, we're going to go over an introduction to XML. We're going to teach you to create XML with PHP and how to use JavaScript to read the XML that you get. First, a bit of an explanation. XML stands for Extensible Markup Language. And XML was designed to store and transport data. Basically, it's designed to be a simple, easy way to send and retrieve data so that you know exactly what you're getting. XML itself does not actually do anything. It's just a format that you can send and retrieve your data in. XML was designed to be self-descriptive. That means that when you get it, you should be able to determine everything you need to know about the message. It has sender information, receiver information, headings, and bodies. It can have any piece of information in it you want, in fact. It's just that every piece of information will be encapsulated by tags. And those tags will allow you to identify whatever you need to know about that piece of information and also are very handy for needing to manipulate that information. So, as they say, a picture is worth a thousand words. This is what XML actually looks like. You have a version and an encoding method and that just helps on the receiving end for them to know what they're looking at. Other than that, you're just going to have a series of tags around all the information that you have. In this case, we have a main grouping of bookstores. There's only going to be one group of bookstores, and inside that group, there's going to be multiple books. In this case, we only have one, but this entire book section could be copied. Within the book section, there are things like title, author, and year. Those tags wrap the actual information so that on the recipient's end, they know exactly what they're looking at. If they want to know the title of the book, Cooking, then they can go to the category Cooking, look for the title, find out that it's Making Pizza, and they know exactly what to look at because each step has its own tag. Now, because this doesn't actually do anything, we won't be showing you how to do anything with XML, but we will show you how to create it and read it. And we'll do that in our next video.